Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Um, another update. Yeah, I know I'm a day late again. Uh, yeah, this whole virus thing has got uh, everybody uh, having a cow. So um, anyway, I'm doing a little vacation from work since uh, they want us to either work from home or take vacation. So so we're doing that. So I got some time to work on the car. Anyway, let's take a look. So most of what I've been doing is uh, here in the interior. Uh, you can see we've done a lot of metal work. We've got the rear firewall very close to um, cut, uh, finished up. The electronics are in uh, there. It might seem a little tight, but it's actually a lot easier to work on. I uh, still got a little bit of stuff to do in the cubby over there, but this cubby is uh, close to being finished. Uh, we got the sidewalls for the console in. The melamine I had there was just uh, for temporary and then uh, kind of uh, got the floor pans in. Same on the uh, driver's side, got the floor pans in. Need some more steel for the uh, other side of the console. And then we'll get the B pillars um, roughed in, uh, get some steel in there. And then hopefully uh, we can start on the doors and latches because that's uh, what I have on my list next. The other thing that we've been doing is uh, printing um, and doing all of these electronics and getting them started to wire up, getting things working. So I've been testing most of the uh, capability on the bench. You saw last time where we were trying to hijack some of the switches. I was successful in doing the window switches. I'm just waiting for some uh, relays uh, so that they can control the windows. Uh, hopefully we'll get the car fired back up here pretty soon. Um, I'm hoping within the next month we'll have it back up and running and uh, we'll have her out and about uh, doing some tests. I did some more fiddling with the uh, gear shift. Uh, the actual height of it makes a huge difference for this gated shifter. So I got it so that it's perfectly, so it doesn't uh, interfere with the gate when you uh, do the shifting. So, so that's pretty good. So we're pretty happy with that. Um, anyway, not a whole lot of detail on this uh, update, just pretty quick and uh, dirty. Uh, we're going to keep refining the interior and uh, keep working on switches and whatnot. And... Uh, and go through one system at a time for the electronics. So, so here you can see my little workstation. Um, we've been working on doing the new tail tail lights, uh, getting those all wired up. You can see that I've got quite a few harnesses here. Uh, one of the major things that uh, we did was we got this start start stop button all uh, hijacked wired up I even put uh, a couple of LEDs in there so uh, when you hit the accessories it will fire it up and you'll actually it'll illuminate and then when you hit the start button it actually gets brighter so that's kind of cool uh, this is the uh, pigtail for all of those switches that you saw in this switch panel here so we've got most of those hijacked now and working. Um, we've got the one for the lift system, the windows, and the hazards. The other two, three buttons, we'll figure out what to do there at some point. This one, which is the headlights, I'm probably going to make my own uh, circuit board and take some of these, um, these uh, switches out. So anyway, that's where we are there. So anyway, that's it. Um, very short update. Uh, it's not really uh, that complicated. I will try to do some more on the electronics as we start wiring more and more things up. I've done a lot of the harness stuff as you've seen. Uh, you can see my kind of uh, wiring uh, fiesta that I had uh, there in the uh, living room. So anyway, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, Stay tuned for the next update. Thanks again, and stay safe.